Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. When are you considered a military veteran? To be considered a military veteran, you must have served in the active military, naval, or air service of the United States. This includes service in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and even the Space Force. Active duty requirements. You must have served on active duty, which is defined as full-time duty in the regular armed forces. This does not include service for training purposes alone unless you were disabled or died from an injury incurred or aggravated during that training. Discharge conditions. Your discharge must be under conditions other than dishonorable. This means you cannot have a bad conduct discharge or a dishonorable discharge to qualify as a veteran. Minimum service time. For those who enlisted after September 8, 1980, there is generally a minimum service requirement of 24 months of active duty to be considered a veteran. However, if you became disabled due to your service, there is no minimum length of service required. National Guard and Reserves members of the National Guard or Reserves are considered veterans if they were called up to active federal duty by presidential order for a purpose other than training. Alternatively, if they serve 20 years or more, they are also considered veterans, regardless of whether they were activated on federal orders. Special Cases Commissioned Officers of the Public Health Service, PHS, Environmental Scientific Services Administration, ESA, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, are also considered veterans if they served at least 90 days on active duty after September 10, 2001. Training and academies service as a cadet or midshipman at any of the service academies or attendance at an academy preparatory school with a binding commitment to regular active duty can also qualify you as a veteran. Additional considerations. If you were disabled or died from an injury incurred or aggravated during inactive duty for training, you may also be considered a veteran. Specific medical conditions such as cardiac arrest, cerebrovascular accident, or acute myocardial infarction during training can qualify you. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.